Hi everyone, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games and uh, welcome to this evening's stream. So tonight we're going to be painting uh, pink metallic space marine and uh, I've been looking forward to this, bizarrely. Uh, so let's say good evening to everybody in chat. Hi Ricky D, hi uh, Tony Howell, a, a new name for uh, Mr. Howell. Uh, hi Pete the Priest, I think I saw you up there. Hi Fizzy Whizzle. Hi! <laughs> yep, looking forward to this one. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to crack straight on. So I'm going to use my... Uh, no, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use I'm going to use this Citadel starter brush here. To Whatever possessed me to choose pink metallic? Well, we did a vote on stream. And uh, you, the viewers, our... Uh, our wonderful followers chose pink. Oh yes it did Wicked D, as if you pretend you didn't know. <laughs> I've been quite looking forward to painting this pink. We, I had a bit of a play around the other day to decide how I was best going to do it and uh, so it should should uh, look pretty good. It was a rig. You're right Pete the Priest, it was a rig. So we're going to start off and we're going to paint our Space Marine with some silver. So here we go. So this is a uh, like a gunmetal silver. It's actually a, a uh, old silver is the colour, but any gunmetal will do. So I'm just going to paint him all over with this because this is going to be the base coat. You uh, you must have known that I wasn't going to do. Uh, you wasn't, I wasn't going to do something totally simple. So. Here we are, just going to give him a, a liberal all over application of this one metal, one metal colour. And get that on nice and smooth, hopefully. So I've left his arms off. So I've put his backpack on, which I haven't glued in place actually, but uh, I've fastened his arms onto the side of the, the paint holder here with some blue tack. Oh, yep, I've now got the microphone under my chin, so uh, it should be a little bit louder for you. And then you don't, then you don't talk. I know, and then I don't <laughs> talk, sorry. I was waiting for you to chip in. I could unmute that house so hot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. Unmuting would, would help quite a lot. Yeah. So, how uh, how is everyone this fine evening? We've still got a bit of daylight today, so that's pretty cool. It's uh, always better to paint by natural light. Yeah, it doesn't help though, because we start the stream with daylight, and then yeah. as your stream progresses, yeah. there's no daylight anymore. Oh, well, there was green. Somebody wanted camo, didn't they? Oh, yes. uh, yeah, green, which I would have been happy with just green. We could have done something like a nice dark angel or something like that. That's not a point, is it? No, it isn't. You're right. With uh... The more I've thought about it uh, throughout the week, I know I was resistant at first. Uh, secretly, I wanted to. That's yeah. That's what I'm thinking, Asma. We're going to go for... Uh... Uh, a pink over the top to get, so we get a nice, uh, nice cool shade. So everybody uh, who wanted to is joining in and painting along with their space marine that they got from the shop, and then we're going to show off all the wonderful creations on the Discord channel. That's yep. That's right. With the. Uh, had a couple already. Mrs. MLG has painted hers. Little Miss MLG hasn't painted hers yet. She has uh, found other things that she wanted to be on with rather than painting a Space Marine, but we're going to try and get her to do it, aren't we? Only if she wants. She said she wanted to, but the problem is she's not going to do it. 
save for him. Yeah. Oh, they look really cool. Yeah, I like those. What does that look like? Can you describe it to me? Um, yeah, it's like a, a wonky... Um, uh, yeah, yeah what, what's, the, what's the kind of... How would you describe it for those of us that don't know what it looks like? Yeah, it's like a, like a wonky medieval building. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, how I would best describe it. Yeah, I guess. I'll well, keep the priest has found the pig that has run away. Wee wee, oh my god! Yeah. So he's painting that. Uh, Beard Goblin says that Dark Angel is the best angel. Um, yeah, but you know they're bad guys, really, aren't they? We know. Everyone knows the Dark Angels are the real traitors and the Alpha Legion are going to come back and save everybody. At the end. Yeah. They're heretics as well. Oh, the shambles in York. Mr. Hall says, imagine the shambles and that's the kind of building. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to uh, try and describe, yeah. Was it? Yeah, that was it. That was what I had in mind. I just couldn't vocalise <laughs> my thoughts. <laughs> just couldn't spit it out. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I can always think of big words later. Yeah. So, painting this basement as voted for in chat by quite a ridiculous amount of votes to be metallic pink, and other people are painting along home in any wild colours that they want to. I think Reese is going to add glitter to his. Oh yeah. Um, and then we're putting them in this corner so that we can all just have a look. But Hi, Moxie it's going to be cool. Have you seen what's on our, uh, what's on our painting mat, Moxie? You know, uh, might as well paint the end of the gun and the ammo while we're on. A blue tack, right? So this on this particular figure because it's an easy build one. Push fit. A push fit, easy to build figure. The gun obscures most of his chest, and uh, I wanted to be able to paint his chest because he's got this cool eagle on there, and I wanted to be able to paint that and uh, and not miss the detail. Thanks, Peter Priest. We, it is, isn't it, Moxidon? I wonder who possibly could have designed this amazing uh, piece of artwork for us. I, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure. But uh, we love it. And uh, and they turned up a lot quicker than we were expecting, to be fair. We only ordered them on, uh, was it Sunday night? Yeah, I can't remember. It was only like a couple of days ago. So, they're... Uh, we think they're pretty cool. Very, uh, very happy with those. Right, so there's a rough, but oh, missed a whole chunk on his backpack. So what we're going to do, if you haven't guessed already, or you didn't see uh, Asmo's comment earlier on, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it. Uh, this silver and then I'm, I'm gonna paint him all silver uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint his shoulder pads pink because that'll be alright won't it that, that'll qualify for pink like everybody asked you just paint his shoulder pads pink is that yeah. Is that, is that yeah, that's, yeah we're gonna go to that in chat he's just gonna paint their shoulder yeah, we, pads yeah pink. we're just gonna go back and we're gonna use some of their breast cancer pink paint oh, you're just gonna keep the rest of it silver yeah that's that's what I thought is that okay everybody oh. No, when his chat is objective, so... No, no, that must be alright. Oh, no, no, we can do not happen. <laughs> no, he's, he's going to be all pink, with a little bit of other colour to accent. Accent. So, we're just going to uh, 
go for the next coat and for that we're using some Vallejo Air Steel but we're going to brush it on rather than airbrush it because this colour is nice. It's, uh, these air paints, I like, really like the metallics, they go on really really smooth so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to dry brush, excuse me, we're going to dry brush this steel on. Stupidly pick the smallest brush. So, we're going to start at the top and work our way down. So, I'm just dry brushing him with a brighter silver. So, so this is uh, Vallejo Steel. Yeah. Because <laughs> I want it to, uh, I want it to be a really nice bright silver before I start putting the pink in. So many choices with space marines, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing, that's the point of this fun thing though. You don't have to do space marine colours. I know, but I think but I think I might have done. Oh, yeah. You'd have been all boring if you did space marine. Yeah, I think so. That's right, GD he's, he's decided that um pink's not for him. So he's, he's not gonna bother. Hi Reese. How's your glitter marine coming along? So, there we go. So he's looking, uh, he's looking all right so far. I think. So then we're going to go for uh, an even brighter silver over the top so this is Vallejo in fact I may need a bit more on my palette we're gonna go for some Vallejo chrome over the top of that just to make it really really bright He's gonna do it pink, really. and, then, and then we're gonna make some magic happen <laughs> that's not like digging yourself up no, no, yeah that's yeah MLG magic MLG magic yeah Oh, do you? Did you get good stuff? I didn't get what he wanted, but they can do it now. Yeah. I'm sure Reese can tell you much, much better than I can. Yeah. As soon as I understand it. Bob Ross magic. I don't think I've ever watched Bob Ross. I know what he looks like and everything, but I've never watched any Bob Ross things. I don't really know what mm, about. No. He's supposed to be really relaxing to listen to. He's dead now. They are making. Uh, I keep on calling Mr. Perks now. <laughs> Tony. Uh, Tony Hall. They uh, they are making a uh, special set. I don't know if it's already been uh, if it's already been done. Actually, they're doing a, a special set of Bob Ross art cards for Magic: The Gathering, which uh, are all obviously because he was famous for doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You keep that's, him, GG. That's, you tell him. that's it. So uh, yeah, so he used, he's very famous for painting landscapes and things, isn't he? So they're doing a, a set of land cards with Bob Ross art on. That they're apparently the um, family, and then they're going to give all the money to charity, I believe, because the the foundation that looks after his uh, his estate have, have signed up to it to make sure that it all goes to charity, I believe. He could 
getting framed out of them. Don't play magic, but you like the art. You don't play yeah. Frame. I do, yeah, but fine, but trying to trying to find a frame is quite expensive. Might have to, now things are starting to reopen, might have to go to that shop in Old Town and see if, yeah, see if, yeah, see if they can do it for us. Because everybody on uh, Etsy and all these other online services seem to just want to charge an arm and a leg for it. for pink anyway no we've done we've done the dry brush stage so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the top of our bright silver uh, chromed up space marine with some citadel contrast volupus pink uh, but this is going to take me a little bit longer than it did just to dry brush this guy silver because i want to try and uh, skip some of the details so I can go in and, and colour that with a couple of different shades. So here we go. So, right, so I'm going to go over the top of the silver with the volupus pink and then it will give us a nice kind of pre-shaded pink colour. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. So we're gonna. Uh, so we're gonna go. So we're, I'm gonna paint a shoulder pad first, and then you'll hopefully get to see how uh, how it's gonna pan out. Oh, I was trying to be sneaky again and just do the shoulder pad. <laughs> now the one thing with contrast paints, if you've never used the the Citadel contrast paints, is you do have to kind of manage the uh, the color a little bit. So, I'm going to work on smaller areas at a time and then kind of move the uh, pigment around if I can. Try and try and do it properly rather than how I normally do, which is blather it all over. Definitely. So, uh, what is contrast paint then? Why is that so different to normal paint? Well, contrast paint is essentially a a bit like a glaze or a heavy ink I think is how best to describe it so it works best over light colors can you see now there we go. can't see it over there can you uh, so it works best over light colors so they recommend kind of light grays or bone colors as undercoats but it works very well over silvers Yeah. Does that mean it, it does indeed, and you will see that in a minute. So we're going to leave that. I want his uh, shoulder pads to be a lot redder than the rest of his armour, but just to give you an idea of how that looks and how we're going to get that metallic pink finish on here. So as we uh, as we work our way across the rest of the army, you'll see how it reacts with all the little nooks and crannies in there. I'm going to try and not get it on all the uh, ribbing in the recesses because we're going to do those with some different colour. Because if I, yeah, well, because we needed it to be metallic, didn't we? So we're from everybody's uh, request. So this, so, so, so this way, if you weren't going for a metallic, you would be better off painting it white or a very light grey colour, and then you'd get a different uh, kind of pink effect. 
and, and the contrast paint really depends on what undercoat you use. So if you can see, I'll lift that up a bit. Once the paint dries, you'll be able to see it a bit better, I guess. But you can see that it's quite a nice, like rose pink, I would say. I think it looks pretty cool. I haven't seen, talking about painting, I haven't seen many more of uh, Wicked D's painted creations. Have I just been missing them? I think maybe Wicked D has been very busy. Uh. Or hasn't shown us. I think you've been cold, my darling. We will have to talk. I know. Um, I am rubbish at that, though. No, you're not. You only keep him getting in the way. Beard goblin, primus family drowned. <laughs> Yellow one. Come on, you'll have to talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unacceptable university uh, studies. Right then, so we'll move on to his... Ah, oh, look, I've blobbed already. So that's this is what I was trying to avoid, was getting... Uh, pink onto this eagle section on his chest because I want to do that with what I'm going to do with that is go over that with a, uh, a yellow colour so then that will look like a really nice bright gold I want, it to, uh, I want it to really stand out so don't want to get any pink on there because otherwise I'll have to go back and touch it up with a bit more silver So when I was planning this out in my in my brain the other day, and uh, I was thinking to myself, "Oh, this will look really cool if I if I do it this way. I think that'll look that'll look great." The only bit that I've kind of got a bit of a stumbling block with is his belt. So do I paint the like the belt area here? Do I paint this? Uh, do I paint this belt area here? Do I paint paint that pink, or do I paint that? Like with the gold, like we're gonna do the um, the eagle, or I don't know what to do with that bit. Yet. That's the only bit I haven't planned out. Yep, that's that's what I was thinking, Beard Goblin. I, I did have, I've had a bit of a practice in the past, and I've used uh, Nasdreg yellow, but it's too vivid, I think, because the yellow, even though it looks very brown in the pot, it uh, it definitely comes out like a really, ooh, I don't know, I like to say like fluorescent uh, almost colour over silver. So I think I'm going to go with the skeleton hoard to get a good, a good gold. And I'm also going to do the same on the rims of the shoulder pads. A pink buckle, Mr. Howell. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that might be the win. That might be the, the Give him a pink pink belt and a pink buckle. We did say we were painting in pink, didn't we? So I suppose we'd best do more of in pink than anything else. Might as well do it while we're there. Super. Yeah, it's uh, the Nasdrag yellow 
is it's, well, it's, a, it's a great colour but uh, and I've used it on some orcs and things in the past because orcs are the best but I really uh, I guess I really like red for my orcs because red ones go faster I think that's where the name comes from as well, isn't it? The Nazdreg Yellow. I think that I'm sure it's a he's an orc character of some description from Father Thor. <laughs> Got. Don't know if anybody anybody has read that's into uh, 40k uh, literature and what have you, but we've got I think it's called Brutal Cunning, which is the book written from the Orcs' perspective that they've done recently. But I haven't had a chance to read much more than a couple of pages of it yet. I'm trying to finish a couple of other books first. If anybody anybody's read it, then uh, anybody has read Brutal Cunning, I would be uh, interested in your review. Alright, oh, I didn't even know you could get it as an audio book. I hope whoever narrates it does uh, suitably guttural orc voices. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we need a need a, need a name. chapter name for. Oh, I don't know, and, and also suggestions of what kind of uh, like symbol we should paint on his shoulder pads. So his blank shoulder pads, nothing too complicated. If I've got to hand paint it, but certainly, I think we need to give him something. <laughs> Gerald, yeah. T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Mona Lisa. Definitely, definitely paint a Mona Lisa on the shoulder pads. Oh, yeah. yeah. I did say to me easy, didn't I? Someone suggested a Hello Kitty thing, didn't they? And I'd, yeah, but you haven't got any hands on the stick. No. Probably we can get each of his hands. Yeah, I think it was. He wears his halves on his shoulder pads. Oh, dear me. Oh, no. It gets worse. Right, so, heart. Any other proper suggestions? <laughs> And then we can do a little poll and see which one we're going to see which one we're going to see. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Maybe you should just write Nalgene on his shoulder. Maybe. Yeah, I could paint a tiny little horse. You could. Could, could you paint a tiny little horse? Yeah. Oh. I did forget to give you it, but I have got it on my desk ready for uh, when you come to work tomorrow. <laughs> come to work tomorrow or you're not having it. Yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. I've got it uh, I've got it out ready for you.
know what what the, what shall we paint on his chosen tags then? So we've got a heart, a triangle, and a horse. I think it might be a heart at this rate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're working a game shot, yeah. Yeah. You must. You can paint pink. You must have some red and some white. Yeah. So I'm still painting pink. I'm just uh, I'm trying to not blather it into all the other areas, so I can go back in cool. a unicorn. Oh yeah, so we could. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, well I guess if we're going to attempt a horse, a unicorn's not that much different, is it? So maybe we should upgrade... Well, horse horse. Yeah, maybe we should upgrade horse to unicorn. Any, uh, any last suggestions? What would you like? No idea. Ugh. I don't know. It was it was hard enough work deciding that I was gonna how I was gonna paint him pink, let alone. Yeah, I look with Lisa saying he needs new paintbrushes now. Oh, it's just a shame that there's no local game shops near you. Hmm. A fish. A fish. Yeah, we could go for a fish. What's what colour? What colour are you using? Uh, this is Volupus pink. The contrast paint contrast. from GW. I'm using brown, but you can't see that. <laughs> also, it's not a space thing. Because I've already done my own. Yeah. And it's a completely different colour in real life than it was on the picture. <laughs> it is, yeah. I'm trying not to uh, trying not to paint his eyes. I want to paint his eyes green. Oh, am I? Oh, Just need to shake that up a little bit. Get a bit more paint in the top end of the pot. No, not really. No, the the white tends to oh, dropped dropped his arm. The white tends to separate out quite a bit. You need to give that a good shake up. It's pink on it. But. <laughs> Yeah, you've got your, got your colour turned up too high from all your video games. Well, the music's got a bit jazzy now. Is it? Oh. It's really on. More tempo. Yeah. Do you think you would still love it? <laughs> if it constantly if, played in the shop. Yeah, if we were play, playing it on loop in the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's there's quite a limited selection of royalty, uh, royalty free music. I'll just, I'll just bring the piano down and just make noise in a corner. 
Yeah. Oh, that'd be good, wouldn't it? We could have live piano music. Yes, you can. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Jazzy Tempo. That could be his. Uh, that could be his official Space Marine name. Yeah. I, yeah. I know. I like it. Imperial Lancers. What? Uh, so does that mean we've got to paint a lancer on a unicorn on his shoulder pad? I think that might be a bit difficult. But. Yeah. We could give it. I'll give anything a try once. Or well, most things, at least. Right then, so I'm just going to go back over and just uh, see where it's dried. This is one thing with um, contrast paints, is where it goes a little patchy, like uh, on flat surfaces here. Sometimes you just need to go back and revisit some of those areas, just give them an extra little bit of helping to get the colour just right. I don't know if I've had greasy fingers at some point when I've picked this model up. Or whether it's just that chrome paint. Because it's uh, certainly gone patchy on certain parts of it, but not everywhere. <laughs> right, I've put the pole up so you can all vote. Oh, unicorn's winning out so far. I hope you're getting your thinking cap on. Yeah. I'll take the unicorn at the time you show up. Sure about fish might might come out looking more like a whale or something. Wait, you think you're better at unicorn? Is that? Oh no, I think whatever I try and do is probably going to be a car crash. But <laughs> but we're here to witness the car crash with you. Yeah. So then, once uh, once I finish this shoulder pad, that is the last section, uh, unless there's any more bits that need like touch-ups. But now we're going to go for some uh, gold, and for the gold, gold. yep, yeah, we're going to go for another skeleton horse. Skeleton horse. Skeleton horse. Because <laughs> uh, I just looked up and saw a big goblin's thing there. Unicorn is a lancer to a horse, right? Skeleton horse. Yeah. Skeleton horde is what we're going to use, eh? Skeleton horde. So we're going to use some skeleton horde and uh, just lightly touch in uh, the edges of the shoulder pads and this eagle here on his chest or uh, winged skull, even. It's not, not an eagle, is it? Yeah, so we're going to do that. It is. So, uh, so when you paint this over a, a, a bone undercoat or a white undercoat, you get a beautiful bone colour. Uh, and this is what I used as the... So I, when we recently painted some skeletons, I undercoated them with the uh, TT Combat PHR Bone Spray and then painted Skeleton Horde liberally over the top. And it wonderfully shades the uh, the skeletons, but when you paint it over silver and it dries, you get a really nice subtle gold. So that's what we're going to use it for here. So we're going to paint it on there, on that eagle section, and then we're going to paint it on his 
shoulder pads here just on the rims Now I was going to do, my plan was to do his shoulder pads red uh, in the centres. So paint them pink and then do a, a coat of red over the top. But I don't know if I might just leave them pink. We're going to be painting unicorns or fish or whatever else could be so far, over the top. Okay. That's how you get those. If you use bits as well, I think bits cost you money. Bits cost you money, so. I think so. <laughs> He's got in blue on the points. Sorry, I'm not talking. Just <laughs> trying to not get skeleton bone all over the uh, the edge of the pink. Well, I'm just doing that edge there. So I'm just going to give this uh, bit on the chest another coat. Just on the wings, just to get a bit more uh, shade into it. So it's like doing uh, an ink wash, I guess. So the way it seats into the recesses, it kind of self shades itself the um, contrast paint. Pretty uh, fantastic, Rever you know, new new product. Uh, I know a few of the companies have uh, have done similar products, like GW have done these. So next we're going to go for some uh, basilicanum grey, and I'm going to use that to paint in these sections that are the, the rib pieces in between the armour. Any suggestions on how Wicked D should paint the gun? How are you painting your gun? So I was going to go pretty boring uh, and go black actually. Because I didn't want to make it look too bright a colour against the pink. So what colours have you uh, what colours have you painted the rest of your figure in Wicked D? So yeah, I think black would look fine. Rainbow. Yeah, give it stripes. Nothing like a challenge for a uh, relatively new painter. Right, so there we go, so we've, we've done our uh, recesses, and then next thing we're going to do is we're going to go for some green, and I'm going to paint these eye lenses. And I'm going to use uh, Warp Lightning Contrast colour for that. Yeah. So 
So we're gonna go for a smaller paintbrush so I can get into the eye lenses. Hate painting eyes, but fortunately these are quite big. Yeah. I am. It's because I don't want to paint his face green. <laughs> but you want to paint him green. Yeah, but not over the top of a pink undercoat. <laughs> What is that? Is fish one? <laughs> a fish? Cool. <laughs> Peter Priest used all her <laughs> all her points. Fish, fish is the winner. Okay. Fish it is then. Fish it the, is. The Imperial Fish Brigade. Fish. Oh, I didn't see that coming. No. Waiting until the last last couple of seconds and snuck in there with the fish. Yep. Crazy. Right, so I just I need to paint the uh, a couple of extra details here. I was gonna I was gonna paint these shoulder pads red, but then I put the red red away, so I must have already kind of decided in my mind that I wasn't gonna do that. Hmm. Maybe we'll give that another uh, another go of pink then, just to make sure it's. Suitable. So, what you're doing there? so I'm going to just go over these centers of the shoulder pads again with the pink mm -hmm. just to make sure we've got a nice solid color to paint our fish onto. Fish. I don't know. What kind of fish, Pete the Priest? He's going to do like a, a normal kid's fish. Like a triangle tail. Yeah. I, I want to see you trying to paint a unicorn now. That would be quite funny. Koi. Koi trout. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I was asking you, but no, you asked. Uh, Is it pink enough, Gigi? The battered kind with chips. And then we get all the seagulls trying to get in. Oh, having yeah. a fight on the roof earlier. Oh, we had. <laughs> we had one try and get in the shop earlier on. The, there's some, uh, some individual, and I don't know who it is in town, like. There's, I think it's an old lady who likes leaving bird seed down the side of our store. So there's an alleyway that connects King Street, where the front of the shop is, to Chapel Street, which is the street behind us, where the precinct is. And this lady, I believe, anyway. Uh, leaves a trail of bird seed down the side of the alleyway now normally that means that when there's nobody around it's just full of pigeons because they're all in there trying to get the bird seed and what have you but today was market day outside and it's been quite busy so we haven't had many pigeons down there because there's been a few people around but the seagulls have started getting bolder and bolder no the seagulls don't care about people yeah <laughs> So they're in eating all the bird seed down the alleyway, and uh, one of them trotted into the front of the shop, and we had to shoo it out. <laughs> well, when when we were in lockdown and I was at the shop, I used to sweep the bird seed up <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. not only do we get pigeons, and we also get rats, and we don't really want that, do we? Yeah. So I used to sweep it up. 
because she started before she realised the shop was open, I think. Just putting it on our front doorstep. Oh, no. Yeah. No, that's where, that's where it was. It was on our... So, if you opened our double doors to the front door, there was just a pile of bird feed. So, that, that's why I used to sweep it up. So that's probably why she took it down the alleyway now. Which is, you know, better than the doorstep. But it's still not great. Nope. Yeah, well, before we moved to this house, they used to nest in our chimney, didn't they? In between the chimney pots. Yeah, because we have all things up, but they do what they want, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> they had to go up on the roof and take all their nest out. So they hopefully wouldn't come back. Mm -hmm. But then we moved, so now it's somebody else's problem. Yeah, we're further, <laughs> further away from the sea now. Yeah. We don't get as many, but they were having a fight on the Oh yeah, well yeah, it's a special edition uh, that GG, where uh, you're only allowed to use uh, bird figures or figures that have got wings depicted somewhere on them. Oh, look, we're nearly out of time. How am I going to paint a fish in uh, a koi carp on these shoulder padding? No, well, I, no, GG said that I wouldn't get to paint him pink, and, and I think he's definitely pink. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right then, we've got seven minutes to paint a koi on his shoulder pad. Why have you painted him all? Well, never. I don't want to leave him like. Can't done, do we? Yeah, I think it's the. I think it's the camera because it's not red. <laughs> yeah. It's either it's either your monitor or. Right then. So, can you, my darling? Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's you. Could you get me like a little extra window thing over here somewhere so I can see a picture of a cot and then we'll have a go at it? Seriously? What? Yeah. Seriously. K O I. Oh yeah, this one. Something like that. What, that? Oh no, scroll down a bit. Sorry. Hi everyone. <laughs> yeah, this, like that picture will do. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll copy, we'll co oh that one, yeah, we'll copy something off there. Yeah, so we're, uh, so we're just pulling up some internet issue I images of uh, Koi. It'll just be a second, or I'm gonna just get, so I've got a reference image. So I'm going to use some... Uh... That makes it sound like you're going to do it really, really well. Oh, no, yeah. don't, no, don't get excited. This is not going to be a masterpiece. Uh, so I'm just going to get some white on the palette so I can get an idea of what we're doing. And I'm just going to thin it a bit. Excuse me. Just gonna thin it down a touch, and then I'm gonna do my very best to paint a cool-looking very, very cap. Yeah, is that your very, very best? So, which shoulder pad do we want to paint it on? Uh, yeah, this this one will do. This one will do. So. Oh dear. This could all go horribly well. 
Yeah, I'm just I'm looking at this picture thinking like that doesn't look like any of those fish. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Bear with me. Bear with me. This is This is a challenge. There is a plant. Look at there. Look, it looks like a fish. <laughs> How very day. Probably you're supposed to be like fat, aren't you? I don't know. Yeah. What do you mean it's terrible? I think it's a cod, or it could be salmonella. I can't even, can't even say it properly. Salmonella. What, what do we all reckon so far? I definitely, I definitely think it's got orca vibes. That's not me. I'm not me. I'm just, you know, putting it out there. At least you're painting. Oh, you <laughs> Looks lovely, my darling. It looks lovely. You're just taking it. Alright, there's there's the shape of our coin. I can't see the chat anymore, so. No, you're doing fine, you're doing fine. So now what are you gonna do? You're gonna put some orange squash. That was gonna, yeah. That was my coin. I don't know, you certainly like me. <laughs> that's, that looks just like one of them fish on there. Maybe I'm just going to <laughs> Maybe my artistic effort is uh, a bit rubbish. You're doing well. Yeah, well, we're giving it a go. I don't think that's bad for a like, two minute freehand first attempt koi car. I thought we might do the unicorn on the other shoulder. You might be looking at pictures of a wild lad.
And what are you painting, my darling? Oh, you're painting a grave minion. Concentrating on trying to do some uh, orange splodges on him. And next, we're going to do a couple of white black splodges, even, so then it should look even more like a fish. He says, semi confidently. Hi. I know. Hi. I just I can't see the chat anymore. Can I, see this? I know, I know. That I've butchered. Beard Goblin's pot of dawn yellow looks like curdled milk. Oh dear. It's that really pale yellow, that isn't it? Dawn yellow. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, it used to be described as an edge paint, but now it's just a layer paint. Rocking the ice. Yeah, so it's not extremely clear. And it's also the look to the whale name. Yeah, don't put your paint on your cornflakes, that won't look very good. Yeah, good. There we go. That's that's all it's getting. That's my uh, That's my artistic. It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's decent, but... I don't know. They don't need to see my face. They just want to see our beautiful what Corey. What do you think? Oh, still sitting in school. What's your name? Yeah, thank you. What do you think? Well, I don't think it looks totally terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Considering how quickly I've painted it, I don't think it looks bad. No, no, I don't. It, <laughs> it could, it could have, it could have been better, but I don't think it looks terrible. I think it looks lovely. So now what we're going to do is try and paint a horse on this one. Really? Yeah. Are we all, are we all still all right for uh, hanging around? Oh yeah, because we're past time. No, I'm not going to try and paint a horse because that would just go terrible. Oh, thank, thank you, Terry. Um, yeah. Very, very kind of you. Uh, but it looks amazing. It, may, it might look better if I sort of the camera out. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. I think that's what he's getting. Oh, uh, everyone's game for uh, watching you paint a horse. Because we're not keeping <laughs> them here by the. Against the will, so they need yeah. to go then, you know. But I, I would quite like to see your attempts at painting a horse too, if I'm honest. <laughs> hmm. it's, it's not red, I promise, Judy, it's not. I can't get the camera to, to do a proper colour. It does look really dark. Oh, doesn't it? It's not. It's not. It's not. Oh, what are you doing? Well, I was just. Mm, yeah. That looks even redder. It does, yeah. You're not, you're not, not helping the situation. Not helping, are you? Mm. It's definitely pink. I promise you it's pink. Oh, there we go. What? That looks pink. Is it? I'm looking at the screen here in front of me.
Right, I'm going to take the other bits off the outside. I'm going to take the terrible, uh, the terrible fish off. Um, 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 and we'll go for horse. You said it looked like a whale. Yeah, because black won't stand out enough, I don't think. Stick, stick horse. Oh, yeah. I'm not really giving myself enough space. This is horse. Oh, well, this is I'll yeah. This is this 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 is a terrible horse. That's what this is. This is a terrible. Oh, horse. Neither am I. I don't know if this is going to look any good. I don't think it is. But the idea that I had in my brain is... Yeah. Uh, what, was, what was the idea you had in your brain? <laughs> I was trying to do a rearing horse. Oh, a rear? Wow, let's make it even more difficult. Oh, yeah. I thought you were just going to do a, you know, a not rearing horse. See, Moxie says you can do a no point doing half a job, is there? No, you, you can do it. We've got faith in you. We're all behind you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, my abysmal point effort here on this is. It, look, it does look easy though. When you see other people do it on these, like, these pro painters doing oh, stuff. And they go, like, oh, and, and I just do this and, like, with the things. Oh, yeah, well, because they're all Italian and Spanish and oh, stuff, aren't yeah, they? These, uh, the good pros. Currently, the fish is winning. <laughs> it does look a bit like a T-Rex. It does. <laughs> so we've got an otter and a T-Rex. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Could be a seahorse, couldn't it? 
could I could do a seahorse. But um what do you call it? What do you call them things? Hip um, hippocampus. Uh, horse and a griffin. It does. It does need a tail. See, we said it looks all right. We've got all these people supporting. I know. I don't know what's going on there. His legs are weird, but we'll we'll fix that. Will yeah. It's a guy with a shield sat on the back. Why not? I need a smaller paintbrush. <laughs> Is that your excuse? Yeah. That looks like quite a small paintbrush, to be fair. What is it? Uh, double zero. There we go. Right, so then we'll come back and we'll paint some more detail on that later. I know because I need to, I need to just put a bit of this pink on the uh, bit there where I'm blonde. There we go, that's that's like undercoat section look. There you go, so horse. With knight and lance. Look. How was that? <laughs> See? And then he just needs like... So it looks uh, quite patchy. It, it is, because I uh, watered down the white quite a lot, so it was easier to... Uh, oh, sorry. It, yeah, it is a little patchy. Yeah. Yeah, I think you might need. Uh, I think you might need a, another coat. Yeah. Pink. Well, no, no, I think it might be, because tonight is the first time that I've used the chrome, and I think it might be the chrome paint because when I've done this chrome paint here, the the Vallejo, I knew you weren't listening. To me. <laughs> So I use this to dry brush over the top of the steel because it's a brighter shade, and I wanted to and I, and I wanted to lighten it up. Yeah. There's the green stuff well one that's chrome chrome, and, and I think that that might have affected the way that the paint has flowed. It's just, it's just 
Yeah. Absolutely, is yeah. Right then, so that bit's his shield there. Do. We need to paint this purity seal bit here. Need some red. Have you got some red? I have got black, red, or fresh blood. Yeah, let's go fresh blood. I'll take a lot of looking after. Hi, Sticky Blood. So I'm just painting these little bits of parchment here, just to give them a little bit of colour, and then I'm going to paint his gun casing black. Because we are already 20 minutes over the time. Yeah. So I'll just do that. Oh, I need to paint this, these pouches on his back. So we'll just give those a quick coat of brown. It's going to be a very, very basic paint job on this Space Marine. So, Reese has changed his mind a bit to make the thing look pink. <laughs> It is, yeah. It's not like Halloween tea. I thought you were going to use the. Uh, I thought you were going to use the Reaper thing. What Reaper thing? Oh, the breast cancer thing. Yeah. No, oh, no, but that wouldn't go over the. Uh... I don't know if you were just going to, you know, give it to him. No. Just try it on uh, something that's got plenty of texture. You can dry brush a space brush. It's easier on fur, I think, so. So if you paint and catch, you can have it on the 
Lovely. What was that? Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Crafty Doctor. I saw this man, little man doing that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That guitar impression. And I was also doing a guitar impression, but nobody can see me. Yeah, no, nobody can see me. That's extremely tiny, Crafty Doctor. Yeah, are, thank you. Uh, 22 minutes over, as per usual, uh, on our pink space marine, that Mr. MLG has hand painted <laughs> some creatures on the shoulder pads, which everybody in chat agrees is wonderful. <laughs> They're terrible and everybody's just everybody's just being very generous They're and kind. Just, I don't know, maybe, maybe what you maybe look like something other than what you set out for. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's fine. If uh, yeah, yeah. if if we were uh, I'm just touching the colour up on the gun. If we weren't running to some kind of semi schedule, then I would have well, taken. Run to a schedule. Then, well, I know, but nobody wants to see me like painstakingly Is that your slowly like paint that. things. I like, I like that excuse. Oh, we didn't really have time. Yeah, not for me to like get a pin out and do it that way. Are you busy, busy, crafty gobber? Lots of things to do. Will there be more space marines in the future? Oh, yeah, almost certainly. Are you doing more votes for space marine Oh. I don't uh, Possibly. Possibly, but the next time I paint the Space Marine on stream, it will more than likely be one of my... Uh, we've got two two Space Marine projects on the go. We've either got Imperial Fists, uh, which are for the store Space Marine Army, and the, in, the Indomitus Space Marines that I've never finished. We started and never finished. So we've got uh, Imperial Fists, and then I've got my own Space Marine chapter, which are uh, essentially Primaris Night Lords. So they're dark blue with skull masks and what have you. And I need to paint some more of those because I've currently only got um, about a thousand points painted, uh, which is very small force. Uh, in fact, it might even be less than that. No, I think it's a thousand points. So uh, I've got a librarian and a redemptor dreadnought and some aggressors and a couple of squads of infiltrators, I think they are. So uh, the, we need some additions to that. Now I've got some stuck together, guys stuck together, but they need painting. So we're gonna be doing some of those, I think, at some point. I might, that'll be a Wednesday. Yeah, right? yeah, that'll be a Wednesday job. So I might paint a uh, might paint a squad of five Marines on stream at some point uh, in the not too distant future. Need some some like regular intercessors, I guess, to back up my Phobos pattern guys. What is it? The fl Flora Pink. Ah, oh, yeah. Well. Um, I know, but I don't know what it'll look like over the top of the thing. So, no. So Little Miss MLG decided when we were on a we went on a shopping trip to the uh, to the Mighty Lancer Games shop the other day. Yeah, and uh, yeah, to pick some stuff. And little Miss MLG picked this Valeo Magenta Fluorescent. So uh, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, well, it's bright. <laughs> it's super bright. So we're gonna try eh, painting that. Yeah. So I'm not using my wet palette tonight either because we're using so many metallics. I've gone for my um, aluminium well palette, which you can see used to be, uh, yeah, used to be so uh, so clean, but now it's just a massive mess. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try some of this. I don't know. Oh, it's quite thin. 
It's quite oh, thin. Yeah, yeah, it's quite thin. I don't know if it's. Uh, no, that's that's not going to show up. We're going to need to. What? We're going to need to uh, paint a base coat or something onto these knee pads. Okay. To go over. Right. What's this? What's this I've got here? No. Nice. Those are fantastic. Even better with a UV light on. Them. So I've got No. Do you think it would look better in that pink? Hi Gerald! You've managed to catch a stream because we are 27 minutes over. <laughs> yeah. Having so much fun with pink space marines. Even though it seems to look red on everyone's screen, so now we're gonna now we're gonna paint this kneecap in extreme pink and see what it looks like. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this knee pad white. And then I'm going to do the other knee pad with the steel. And then we'll see what this paint looks better over the top of. Oh, experimentation as well. I don't know. Real experiments so that you don't have to. That's it. Tune in next time for more, uh, more testers. Gerald's <laughs> meeting. Yeah, that's what Mr. Howell's doing as well, isn't it? I honestly, I have no idea what Mr. Howell's doing, but it sounds so very complicated. <laughs> I know, didn't I see a picture the other day of some checkers or something that was going on on some, one of uh, well, it's been in the strip back Tony's a couple figures? Of times. Has it? Yeah. Oh, I've, I've put some, uh, I've put some figures in the paint stripper this evening. Yes. Absolutely, ages ago. Yeah, that's it. Still using the same pot of uh, paint. Just out of curiosity, then, what what paint stripper does everybody use? Because the Green Stuff World stuff is great, but is proving very difficult to get hold of at the moment. So, I've seen a couple of other products advertised recently, uh, but just out of curiosity, what what does everybody use? So I, I know that in the States, um, people use, is it Simple Green or something like that? Seems quite popular. I've heard of that one. Yeah, Paint Blitzer. Yeah, I've not heard of that one. Yeah, I was thinking about buying some more actually, because that, that Green Stuff World one, we have used it a lot, haven't we? We tried Dettel though, didn't we? But we didn't yeah. get it to really do much. Yeah, it took so long. To, uh, and I've seen people recommend some kind of. Um, and it's quite expensive to get properly. Yeah, I've seen seen someone recommend a product that you can buy in Wilco's, but obviously it's been locked down and we can, we don't have a Wilco's in town. So going to get one is not a possibility. Here's here's the most recent figure that I've had in our Green Stuff World one. So this is a uh, a classic Citadel Chaos Hero that I stripped the paint off in our uh, Green Stuff World stuff. And then I use one of Little Miss's old battery electric toothbrushes. Oh yeah, brake fluid. Could try that. It does, doesn't it, Crafty Gobbo? It looks absolutely fantastic. So the, there's a little bit that I haven't got to, but yeah, just a just a kids electric toothbrush, like battery powered toothbrush, and uh, the Green Stuff World paint stripper, and and it looks absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, it's one of the ones that it doesn't have a date on the back of his tab, so he's a, but he's he's definitely a Citadel figure. I'm sure he is. Hundred percent sure. But yeah, he looks great. 
Yeah, no good for resin though, I've discovered. No, but you did leave it in. Uh, yeah, I possibly left it. Possibly left possibly. it. Possibly. He me basically melted it. Yeah, but just, you left it in overnight or something. Just stupid. Just turned into a big floppy mess, didn't it? So, here we go. Fluorescent magenta. How does that go over silver? Rubbish. Oh, that's how it goes over silver. Yeah. yeah it's going yeah, to need a couple of coats, that. Mm. Let's see how it goes over this white. Can you get the light on your phone to play like a uh, you do what? <laughs> Well, I don't know, I don't know, because they do all sorts of things that you don't actually realise, don't they? Um, is, is, is this the kind of disco pink that you were hoping for in the first place? Yeah, we need a black light, don't we? <laughs> Make it show up properly. No. We looked at buying some like UV lights, didn't we, for curing the resin off the 3D printer? But we just leave them in the sunshine on a bit of tin foil instead. It's because we're uh, Yorkshire folk and we don't like wasting money. Okay. Okay, well, I'll paint over the silver one then. With the with the reaper, so if you uh, if you missed it uh, when before you joined, so there's my uh, my rubbish horse and my uh, hand painted koi shoulder pads. That horse is absolutely rubbish, isn't it? I need to need to sort that out. Ah, you need the light to get the black. <laughs> it's a bit like the glow in the dark paint. Right yes. Yeah. Night colour. Glow me that thing. So this is, this is the Reaper breast cancer pink. I think it was just a special that they did. I'm not sure you can uh, you can buy it. Look about the same. They're similar. Although this is this is certainly a lot thicker going on. I don't know. And little miss has definitely used this before because I think she painted painted the wings on a dragon with it. Yeah, it's gone really patchy. The, I don't think I let the other one dry fully underneath it first. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know which one I like best. Don't know, we've wrecked it now anyway. It was all beautifully voluptuous pink and now he's uh, and now he's just pink pink. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's what you all wanted. No, I'm not using that. Why? I don't want to. We know what it looks like. We painted that whole golem with it. No. 
not just, not just blathering different pinks all over my artistic masterpiece. It's not blathering, it's like <laughs> it. I put my finger in the pink. <laughs> Then I put my finger in his knee pad, wrecked it. There we go. Now we now we really have wrecked this like figure. That's why you need the knee pad. Yeah. No, I'll just... He's obviously got some battle damage on that uh, that knee pad. I think it's gone all weird. It's like there's some latex on it or something. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm touching it up. Anyway, there we go. It's all done. Figure painted. So, yeah, I might, I might fix his shoulder pad, but no, I don't know. Because he doesn't like it. Yeah. We'll look. We'll just look at him from this angle. I'm quite happy with the fish. We'll just look at him from that angle. I think he looks alright. So. Uh, Can I hold him still? Yeah. Right. Okay, there. I'll hold him still there. Yeah, there you go. I think it looks alright. Metallic pink. So for whatever reason, it's not showing up like pink on the camera. But I promise you, it is pink. So silver undercoat. Skeleton horde for the gold. Volupus pink for the pink. Warp lightning for the eyes. And then just, uh, yeah. Bit of white and orange and black for... Uh, whale koi <laughs> which you know i think it looks better in real life than it does on the camera as well anyway just a bit of fun hopefully you all uh, you all think he looks okay not too much of a car crash i never claim to be a fantastic painter we'll give him uh, we'll give anything a try though and uh, yeah terrible horse on the other shoulder pad that needs a lot more work you can't, you can't rush uh, something like that unfortunately so, yeah, there we go. What do you reckon this is? I think you've done a really good job. And then if people join the Discord or are in the Discord already, you'll be able to see everybody else's ones as well. Yeah, yeah. So what are we going to do? Are we going to carry on giving free Space Marines away until the end of the month well, we while that, stocks last? We said that, um, that people had until the end of the month to put their pictures on Discord. And it is only, it is only for fun, like, you know. Mm. That'd be awesome. Thank you, everybody, for all of your uh, nice comments. It's uh, yeah, it it seemed like a good idea at the time <laughs> when I planned my colour scheme out. And I guess he looks alright. He does look a bit bizarre with the bright pink knee pads, but well, that's only because I wanted to see what they look like. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think he looks okay. He looks okay. Super. Yeah, we we love to see what everybody else is working on. It's, uh, it's it's fantastic. And don't forget, we have the uh, customer showcase gallery on the website as well. If you ever want to show off your masterpieces, you can go in the gallery on our website. Oh yeah, we yeah we definitely uh, we definitely need some submissions oh, for loads. our uh, our customer gallery. There is there is submissions. People have been submitting, but there's you know always room for more. Mm. Oh yeah, it's great. And, people, yeah. and and so long as you're happy to, when you send us those pictures, so long as you're happy for us to do so, we're gonna. Sorry. That's, that's a lot more. Just... You always it... keep saying this, and it's like, yeah, because that's really hard. Is it? Oh well, say it anyway if you want. Yeah, yeah. Saying... Okay. Yeah, just that it, you know, you will put your painted pictures under the products in the uh, yeah, all the miles. Uh, put your painted images under the uh, under the products in our catalog as well so pe people can see what that miniature might look like if it was painted
So, what else? Well, well uh, just before we, we leave you all for the evening, let me show you what else is on my current work table. And uh, what, what else we're on with. I'd like to show off, show off my uh, work. So here are some, I don't know if I showed these off before, here are some treasure tokens that I've made for that game that I talk about all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So here's uh, here's some treasure tokens. I made a whole bunch of uh, my own treasure tokens for uh, that that we need to I need to finish off. So these two here, and I've got a couple of others uh, over there. Look, there's a there's a different color one, but it's the same chest. So these are. Uh, Mantic terrain crate chests that I've glued on, and all of these are just glued onto Renedra paved bases. He just keeps doing it, Crafty Gobbo, is he, you know? That's yeah. what he wants. So, uh, and then these are the same paved bases with just um, little slices of plastic rod on to make gold coins. I don't know, all that, little, some little loot counters. And then these are just spares of some sprues that I had kicking about. So uh, I think this is an old Empire sword. And uh, I can't remember where the hats, the helmet's from. That might be a Frostgrave uh, soldier sprue part. <laughs> and then just some little, little scrolls and books and things. So we need to, I wanted to make up enough treasure tokens that we could maybe have like four games going at once. See you later. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for subscribing as well. That's much appreciated. Awesome. So yeah, Frostgrave um, treasure tokens. And then also I've been uh, working on these. Now these have had a couple of different uh, color attempts and you can't really see the shading on these guys. But I was, my intention is to have these chaps as ghosts. So. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's because the the light, but you can't see the like these are shaded quite a bit, but they just look blue. <laughs> they, do, they do just look they, blue. They do they do, they do they do just look blue. But the idea is that I've got like so many of these, and these are going to be like ghost, uh, undeady type figures to uh, use as monsters. Is that so, better? Is that better? What's my nose? Uh, oh. Oh yeah, there we go. That that looked better. Did it? Yeah, if I if I if I if I block out that light, you can see it better. Maybe. No, I don't know. Anyway, so we've got some of those. They're on the go with some of my shields, and then uh, and then I've got to finish. I've got to finish my uh, copper dragon that we started painting like the past two or three weeks. But next Wednesday we're going to do something probably completely different again. I think I'm going to paint a troll next week. Yeah, because I need to do my um, start working on my diorama. I've already painted all my Reaper Challenge League uh, monthly entries, so I've got to start working on the quarterly ones now. So I think I'm going to work, start working on my diorama. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to work on my troll for now. So what have I done there? Press something. Off the side. So I think we'll wrap up there, shall we? For well, tonight. So we've run, we've run, we've run, we've run, yeah, we've only run over three quarters for now, and that's not bad. So uh, I think we'll call it a night. Thanks everybody for dropping in, and uh, I'll see you in the morning race. <laughs> and uh, hope everybody else has enjoyed the stream. I think our Space Marine looks pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's. In our uh, in our Discord section, I might have to have a quick drop in and see what everybody's been talking about recently before I put my paintbrushes away. And then, uh, yeah, see you all next time. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. <laughs>